Hello Team Aquarius, it's Empire333 here with your love reading. Welcome back, welcome if you're new. We are doing a free reading contest. If you're interested, you can follow the directions at the end of this video to enter. The other thing is, um, what else? If you're new, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. It could go in reverse. This will not resonate with every Aquarius on the planet Earth. Keep that in mind, okay? So let's get into your reading. So, <clears throat> so what I'm getting from this card, this is um, the Listen card, okay? So this is in the traditional Rider weight. This is the High Priestess, okay? So I feel like somebody is being quiet, and I feel like somebody pulled back their energy is just working on themselves, working on... Um, possibly, you know, prayers, you know, um, their spiritual side, whatnot, listening to their intuition when it comes to um, pulling back their energy from the other person, okay? So somebody is quiet and someone is has gone, you know, within and the other person, okay, picture which side you are on, okay, this other person is kind of like reflecting on the other person so if you look at it this way and genders do not matter keep that in mind so this person is looking at you know the high priestess like why did you pull your energy back why aren't you talking why are you being quiet so it could be both people are silent at this time okay but what i feel with this card when it comes to this person this person is trying to figure out how, okay? This person is trying to basically, I feel like this person is, what Spirit is saying is like trying to get their life in order, <clears throat> in order to bring this person back in, okay? And this has a lot to do with what they're going through in their life. So they could be going through like a career transition or Things that have to do with, um, okay, so they're also saying family changes. So things going on in their family. Um, and that's why they're like, they're, they still have their eye, let's just say, on the other person. But at the same time, it's like they're trying to figure out this is going to be a big investment. It's going to be like a big move. Um and they're trying to figure out how to make it work, how to get the things in order. And this could be someone who's super busy, okay, who possibly Aquarius, either this is you or the person. If it's the person, it's like they are having issues with giving you the time and the attention that this connection needs, okay? So I feel like that's why you pulled your energy back. You're like, I'm not going to do this anymore. I'm going to focus on me. I'm going to go within, okay? There's no point of, you know, um, trying so hard. I'm not going to try anymore, okay? So that's the energy I'm picking up on. So, oh, and whatever decks I'm using, they're down below in the links. This was the Psychic Terror of the Heart, the cards we just pulled. And now I'm going to get into... Um, this this is the Illuminati <clears throat> okay guys so keep in mind Mercury retrograde is in effect okay so a lot of you are gonna have you know strong feelings that are coming back um, at this time okay about your person about exes whatnot so keep that in mind so let's see for Aquarius Sun Moon rising Venus and Jupiter Interesting. Okay. So yeah, there's definitely the communication is not there. Okay. So I feel like somebody is um, waiting for communication from someone and they haven't been getting it. Um, this could be someone who reached out to the other person and the other person is not replying back. Okay. So I feel like this person is heavily thinking about what to do. They're overthinking, it's stressing them out, they're losing sleep over it, okay? But 
the thing is that I feel like there's some sort of unfinished business when it has to do with this connection. I feel like someone has to tell someone something and they've been like holding it inside and I feel like they're like, you know, um, kind of going to blow up basically because they've been holding these, um, whatever they're supposed to tell this person and they're waiting on the other person to like, reach back out to them or reach out to them so they can say an honesty what however they feel okay is what i'm getting um this is really bothering this person whoever is not you know reaching out like the receiver on this end they're really stressed out they're overthinking they're losing sleep but in, what they're thinking is also i feel like for some of you you're just like i just want that chapter to be closed. I want to say whatever I want to say to this person in honesty. And um, I want that chapter of our lives to be closed. Okay, so possibly it could have been like um, a lot of like ignoring each other I'm getting or not really listening to each other's, you know, feelings. It could be one sided, by the way. It could be like that your person did not listen to you, did not like take what you said um, like seriously. Okay, that's another thing that spirit is saying. Like maybe you told this person how you feel, but they weren't taking it, you seriously, Aqua. So there's a, some things, some scenarios coming up like that in that, you know, context. But I feel like you're this is um the world card okay and i feel like what this person is feeling is that like i want to talk there's unfinished business between us i want to say how i feel but this person is not responding back and some of you could have said to this person like hey we need to talk you know in whatever i want to talk to you can we meet or something like that can we talk on the phone whatever it is however it you know, it was in your connection, however you said it doesn't matter, but something like a meeting of so you wanted to um, express yourself and you got shut down is what I'm getting. Okay. And that's why you feel like, okay, you know what, this is this chapter is not ending, I want to say however I want, you know, however I feel, um, I want this person to know, okay. So there's something like that and you feel like, okay, I can't move on until I tell them whatever I need to say, okay? And the other thing is <clears throat> someone, it's like someone keeps questioning why this connection didn't work out, okay? And here's the thing. So, or like why is this, it's not moving forward the way you want it to? It, and for some of you, it's because you didn't learn the lesson that was supposed to be learned, okay? So um, I feel like you're in the midst of learning that lesson, but you know what I'm getting with this? So what, what they're saying is that somebody has issues how to be straightforward and the way they communicate, how to be clear and trans transparent. So that has played a big issue. And someone is now learning, like, I should have said A, B, and C. Why didn't I say it at that time? And now it's like you don't have, you feel like you don't have the chance to say it, okay? Or this could be your person, Aqua. So this person is now learning how to be straightforward. And it's not like this person is lying. It's just that there's a difference between lying and being straightforward. It's just that they kind of hold what they feel, what they think inside of them, okay? And I feel it's like what they think. Um, and this kind of, you know, energies that happens when you're not sure of what the other person's reaction is, so you just hold things inside. And then they kind of, you know, they get big, and then you, you didn't tell the person, whoever's energy this is. And now they're stressing out about it, okay? So let me pick the other person's energy. This is the Witch's Tarot. Yeah, there's definitely things that have not been said between you two. Um, okay, so for Aquarius... I feel like somebody's career job was top priority for them, 
okay? And the other person did not like that, okay? Hmm. All right, let's see. So, yeah, somebody, um, this is the king of pentacles, okay, on the other side. Genders do not matter, but, Aqua, what I'm getting is I feel like somebody really, um, they focus so much on their investments, on their money, on their pentacles, and this doesn't have to be, I know in traditional, like, the way people read cards, it's like, oh, it's somebody who's very, you know, um, wealthy or whatever no it doesn't have to be it's just that this person's priority is the coins okay the career the being secure okay so what i'm getting from this is that um somebody it whoever this energy is okay they're finally letting their defenses down okay i feel like this person could have you know um been defensive in the past because I there's a thing that's coming up that you both have different ideas or like a mentality on how a relationship is supposed to work okay and this person because their top priority has been you know um their coins or whatnot it's like they put up a wall okay their walls were up okay their walls are coming down now towards the other person. They're in the midst of that. And it's because I feel like this person leveled up, okay? And so now they're coming slowly into a more secure space in their life. And now it's like their defenses are down because this person, whoever's on this side, they were like, okay, um, they probably pushed away the other person while they were trying to get, you know, things together in their life, okay? And, but they're realizing that they left the other person out in the cold meanwhile, okay? They really realize that they're ignoring the other person throughout whatever experiences that they're going through because of money, because of their career, okay? So somebody got, you know, left out in the cold, but at the same time, I feel like this person, it's like, I don't know how to say this. Whoever this person is, for some of you, okay, the energy that I'm feeling is like they chose, you know, um, the career over the connection, okay? And meanwhile, it's like for some, I'm not for all because some, I feel like this person leveled up. But for some of you, it's like they chose the career, the coins over you or vice versa. But now they don't have that anymore. So I think that this person made some wrong investments. Okay, for some of you. Um, they, okay, they just said that they could have lost a job. Okay, for some of you. So it's like now this person feels lonely, whoever they are. Whoever did lost a job, they feel lonely without the other person. And this is playing a big <clears throat> part in, like, this connection, okay? So I'm going to pull a few more cards. This is interesting. Um, whoa, okay. on guys <laughs> wow your energy's all over okay yeah so somebody I feel is like thinking whoever the person is that wants to reach out okay somebody wants to reach out to the other person but it's like they are, they've been waiting for the other person to reach out and they're not. So now this person wants to reach out, maybe send this person a text or a message, whatnot, and communicate with them how they feel emotionally, okay? Because it's, this person has been listening to their intuition, whoever this is, okay? And this is a very loving, caring energy. So they're trying to figure out should I reach out to them just casually? Should I just say, hey, how are you? Or whatever. 
like a friend would, okay? Or should I reach up to this person and basically pour my heart out to them? Because there's a lot I want to tell them. So you're trying to figure out whoever this energy is, guys, that how should I reach out to the other person? And then I feel a very confusing energy with this. Whoever this is on this side is very confused, okay? And it has to do with how they should reach out, how they should say whatever they need to say to you, Aqua, or this could be you to your person. Um, and then you come into this, whoever's energy this is, it's like they're confused. Should I be casual? Should I pour my heart out? Should I do this? Should I do that? Oh, so the other thing I was getting is like someone wants to, um, I feel like someone in the past told this person like, let's talk about it and the other person ran, okay? It's that kind of energy. So now you're trying to figure out how should I approach the situation? I wanna speak my truth, I wanna be honest and straightforward. How do I speak my truth, okay? So like I said, this person keeps going back and forth. Should I be casual? Should I be like pour my heart out? Because the Queen of Cups is very, you know, emotionally balanced, stable. Um, her, the energy of her, it doesn't have to be her, it could be him, right? Um, is very like loving and soft, okay? So this person's trying to figure out and then they're like, okay, how do I do this? How do I do this in the physical? So this person keeps going back and forth. I feel like this person has like this urge, this nudge, okay? Speak up, tell them how you feel. Something like that is what I'm getting. So you could be feeling like your spirit guides or whoever you believe in spirit, um, <clears throat> like kind of pushing you, like say how you feel, say how you feel. You might be getting messages like talk it out or it's like songs that are like, you know, talking about expressing your feelings, okay? So that's where you're at. Both of you are kind of at a standstill, I feel, of how to communicate with one another. And this person on the other side, it's like they know they left the other person out in the cold. I feel like this person was the one who ignored the other person while they were trying to like level up in their career okay so let's see the other person for Aquarius okay Ooh. okay wow. right so this person wants to come rushing in whoever is on this side it's like they you know what's so strange? The energy I'm picking up from this person. They're the ones who left the other person out in the cold, okay? They're the one who kind of pushed this person aside, went in and out of their life, okay? But they're the ones now that feel left out in the cold because the other person stopped trying, the other person stopped, you know, reaching out to them, okay? And this could even be the person who blocked the other person. And now it's like they just want to come rushing in, okay? But I don't really see this as positive right now because I do feel like this person is um, in the ego because we got the devil energy, okay? This is not a great energy. The devil card with, um, with the... Um, the Knight of Wands, okay? This is not a good energy. It's not healthy. So I feel like this person could feel like, oh no, did I lose, you know, Aqua? Or this could be you. But I do feel like for most of you, this is the other person. Like, am I gonna lose them? That kind of energy. And it's because <clears throat> it's like, for some of you, like I said, this person made some investments or whatever it is, like took some opportunities. It, it went sour is what spirit is saying. And now they want to know the person I pushed away, the person that I kind of put to the side, the person that I did not prioritize in my life, you know, um, is not paying any attention to me. And now I want to come rushing in because I want their attention because they're scared. They're scared to lose the other person is what I'm getting, okay? 
But in the same sense, it's like they're thinking about how they left you out in the cold, how they rejected you. I'm getting rejection. Let me know in the comments. I feel like somebody got rejected like big time. Um, and they're, but they just want to rush in. But I feel like this person is rushing in, not because they know what to do with your connection. It's because they're feeling lonely. Okay. They're feeling lonely. Their ego is saying, oh, you're lonely. You know, um, you need some attention. You're not getting attention from this person. Okay. And that's how they want to come in, which is not a good energy to come in to this connection with, okay? Because I feel like the other person is pretty, um, like, wants the solid connection. But this person, it's like, they're too in and out. Their energy is too flighty, okay? They're not coming in stable. They're coming in more passionately, I should say. More like, okay, I want your attention. I miss you. Um, I feel, you know, lonely without you. Uh, that kind of energy, okay? It's like a fear energy is what these cards are telling me, okay? The, and they don't want to talk it out like you do, okay? They're not prepared right now. So this part, like the other person, they're not prepared for that. They just want to come rushing in. Because all they know is they want your attention. They want to be around you. They want to be in your presence, okay? But um, it's totally up to you guys. So, yeah, this person feels lonely without you. So I'm going to pull um, the power of love cards. This one flew out when I was premeditating. So um, I'm going to take it. So priorities. You understand the paramount importance of manifesting love in all situations. So like I said, someone's trying to figure out what their priorities are in life. I do feel like this person, um, somebody, whoever this is, had a very flighty energy in and out of someone's life. And they were so busy on the, the their top priority was their coins and they just pushed the connection to a side, okay? And yes, if there are people out there that can have it all, that can do it all, okay? I know there's a lot of people out there that say, oh, not everybody can balance the career and the love and blah, blah, blah. No. If you can do it, yeah, it's not it's not easy, but you can do it all. And I feel like this person couldn't do it. So they pushed this person aside. Um, and yeah. So I'm going to pull another card. Sorry, guys. Hold on. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. This is the, I don't know if I said this, power of love. Okay. Cards. So let's see what else for my aquas. Release. You have the ability to give over unwanted energies to the loving forces of the universe. So what I'm feeling is that somebody is confused. Um, whoever's on that side that wants to tell the other person how they feel on this side, okay? Because they know they have unfinished business. Um, you need to release what you have to say regardless, okay? Um, that's what Spirit is saying. You got to speak whatever it is that you got to speak, okay? And I feel like regardless whether... You don't make your decision on what you say and how this person comes in, okay? Speak your truth, okay? Because you need to release how you feel, how you're thinking about this connection. Because I feel like for some of you, whoever that is, it's like it's kind of driving you crazy in a sense, okay? That you have to, whatever you have to say is being kept inside and it's driving you crazy, okay? So say what, whatever you have to say. Don't wait for this person's reaction, okay, on like what your decision is going to be on what to say. You got to speak your truth. You got to speak your truth, okay, is what Spirit is saying. Let it all out. Release, 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 okay. Um, in peace, release it, okay. Don't like go off on this person, whatever it is, okay. But that's what they're saying. And then I'm going to pick one more for you, Aqua. Let's see. Time. Okay. Cause and effect. 
You are aware that the love you create in your thoughts is an agent of change and the foundation of your results. Yeah, so this is about cause and effect. So this is about you, okay, speaking your truth. And therefore, okay, so what I'm getting is, is that for some of you, you're going to really feel freedom. Like you're going to feel free to speak whatever it is you have to say, whoever's energy this is. You know there's things you got to get off your chest. But all this time, I feel like you've kept quiet from this person because you were scared to lose them in the past. So you didn't speak so much. And now you pulled back your energy, but you're thinking, okay, I still have to say whatever I have to say. That's what it's saying, the cause and effect of what you put out there, okay? So speak your truth, um, Aqua. If this is you or whoever this is, somebody needs to get things off their, their chest. And yeah, we got peacefulness here, okay? Because I feel like somebody's being really... Um, like going crazy because they didn't tell someone that something they need to say, okay? Um, yeah, my nose is itching because like spirit is saying yes, yes. All right, guys, I hope this has helped you in some way. If it has, don't forget to give me thumbs up. If you're interested in entering the free reading contest, all you have to do is make a comment below. Write my channel name after your comment. Make sure you respect everyone with your comment. And um, yeah, and make sure you're subscribed if you already haven't and turn on all your notifications. I will notify the winner on 222. I'll see you all later. Thank you, Aqua. Wishing you the best. Bye.